If you give this error message from Dead Island 2 and the error look like this, which say failed to find or create your session, please check network connectivity with an error code which is 0x1606. Then in this tutorial, I will guide you on how to resolve this problem. Now, sometimes you will get this error message when the game servers or your console servers are down. It usually resolves itself after a few hours, like one, two, three hours. Now, maybe if you've waited longer, but you're still facing again the same issue and the problem doesn't resolve by itself, you can try the following fixes here. Try to restart your device. It can be console or PC and router, then relaunch the game again and your issue should be resolved. Now, if you've restarted your device, we're just still facing again the same issue. Now, if you're using Epic Games Store and you face this problem, there is a fix for you. I'll show you it here right away. And if you're using Xbox, also try to follow the steps which I'm going to show you. Let's start with Epic Games Store users. If you're on Epic Games Store users and you face this error message here, we say failed to find or create a session, you can try the following fixes. Go to add or remove programs in your PC settings and uninstall the Epic Online services. Then close the Epic Games launcher completely, then relaunch the launcher and load the game. This should prompt the installation of Epic Online services. After installing, you should be able to launch an online session, if not try restarting your PC. So just come here to the system tray and make sure the Epic Online services is not launched. If it's launched, it will be like this. So let me show you. So let me try to launch the Epic Games launcher. So this is Epic Games Launcher. I'm launching it. So I'll just maybe minimize it like here. So come here to the system tray and make sure to right click on the Epic Games Launcher and select here Exit. After Exit, come to the search here and search for Add or Remove Programs. So open the Add or Remove Programs, which is normally found under the system settings. Open it. Now look for Epic Online Services. So here the Epic Online Services. Select the three dots here and make sure to uninstall the Epic Online Services. After installing, after uninstalling the Epic Online services, come here and relaunch the Epic Games Launcher. It will prompt you to install the Epic Online services. After the installation is over, it will launch the Epic Games Launcher. After it launches, just try to relaunch the game, which is your Dead Island 2, and your game should be resolved. Now, after installing, you should be able to launch an online session. If not, try to restart your PC. Now, if you restarted the game, but it doesn't fix your issue, just try to restart your PC, and this should fix your problem. Now for Xbox users, you can try this. Factory reset your Xbox console, but choose to keep games and apps installed. To factory reset your console, go to settings, select system, select console info, select reset console, choose reset and keep my games and apps. This should fix your problem. So factory reset your Xbox console, but choose to keep games and apps installed. Now maybe if it doesn't fix your issue and you've tried all the steps here, but it doesn't fix your problem, I highly advise you to contact their support team. They have a very active sub contact support. So I'll just provide this link on the description of this video. Just contact them. Make sure to fill out this form according to your problem. And the support team will be able to resolve this issue for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope this tutorial helped you. See you next time.